Hi everybody, welcome to the card of the day. I am up almost before the sun. Almost before the sun. It is gray in Los Angeles and I got a big day in an early morning reading. So, uh, and there's my website. I always forget to say that. If anyone would like to find my podcast or the card of the day on Facebook or book a reading, that's what you look for. Karen Rontowski. Um, so today we are looking at the King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, which I am very excited about, uh, going through the deck and doing two rather than one. Sometimes I think it's it's easier for me to put together different mantras. And this one definitely feels like uh, what my life feels like right now. The uh, cups are emotions. The king of cups, which would be the, the highest, I guess, highest ranking card in the uh, cups, in the field of cups. We look at this card, it's very interesting. He is just floating, floating literally, I guess on a little piece of cement or standard with water around him. The water is going crazy. This is, whenever we see water in the tarot, it means the subconscious, the emotions in the, the subconscious water of what's going on. And you see the very stoic look on his face. Okay. Um, he is, it's, this is someone who has a lot going on under the surface. Okay. There's a lot of emotion, emotions. It might be someone that doesn't say everything or just looks at you sort of blankly, but underneath, you know, there's like so much going on here. Um, the, it's kind of rocky. That's uh, whenever you see waters like that, you're like, oof. And if you look back here, there's a ship that just means international commerce. That's what ships always mean. Um, he is in control. You can say that in control of his emotions and maybe not showing everything. And then over here, we see the Knight of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles are an earth, are about earth, um, about the earth element. And this guy is stops. Knights almost always show you, show you the progression of something. Uh, how fast the knight appears to be working is how fast you will see things happen. This knight is not moving at all. He has stopped. Okay. He is responsible. He is a guy that is perhaps maybe a little dull, but he is stopped where he is. And I put these two together with uh, sort of the vibe around my life right now, which is I kind of feel like there's a lot of chaos and I feel like there's emotional chaos even more so than anything else, which is I keep getting all these, um, uh, more information is how I want to describe it. And as you know, I have my podcast, Paranormal Karen, where I'm talking to, uh, it was something when I started it, I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to find enough guests. And now I have more than enough guests. Keep meeting people. People keep falling in my lap that I never even expected to meet. And I feel like there's so much information that there's sort of this chaos underneath. While at the same time trying to control parts of my life that I am responsible for. For example, every day I am running late to yoga and that's my fault. All that kind of chaos that creates this, this emotional underneath, that's what I want to get under control. That's what I can control. So my mantra of the day, the key to chaos is to stop. Okay, whether that's other people's chaos, whether that's chaos at work, is to just stop, take a minute, breathe. Remember, this is not as frantic or as, probably as important as it seems. The key to chaos is to stop. Okay, that's all you have to, the key to chaos is to stop. If I'm that late for yoga, is it that important that I go? Is it more important that I stop and get myself together than I get hit by a car on my bike? Yes, the key to chaos is to stop. So when you feel out of control like that today sometime, just stop, step back, take three breaths. The key to chaos is to stop. All right, everybody, have a great Monday.